Hey, what's going on guys? Jacoby the Great here, bringing you my top five Minecraft YouTubers who inspired me to start my YouTube channel. I do have to put this out there though. There are a couple people that are not on this list that you might expect to be. Some people like Sky Does Minecraft and Dan TDM, like popular MMOs. Like those people that are not on here, but they should be honorable mentions. This is just the top five that feel like I've drawn the most inspiration from. But those people are definitely OGs and like I've definitely watched them and they were great YouTubers and still are great YouTubers. I just, they're just not the ones that I put on this list, but I still, I still, there's so much respect for those guys. Before we get started, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to subscribe as we do giveaways every single milestone, and you don't want to miss out on any future giveaways. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So the very first Minecraft YouTuber I drew inspiration from was Stampy Long Nose, Stampy Long Head, whatever you want to call him, Joseph Mark Garrett. He was an absolute classic person. I think he might be the very first Minecraft YouTuber I ever started watching. I believe the first ever video I watched by him was his Lovely World videos, which he still does to this day, and it's absolutely insane. That was always really cool to watch. I also watched parkour, uh, different Let's Plays, what are those, the, the quests ones, like, uh, it was, there's so many, like, I've, I've probably watched every single video by him, like, it's absolutely insane. I would say a year probably after watching him, I that's when I really got the idea of, like, I wanted to start doing Minecraft YouTube. I saw the amount of fun he had along with his friends and everything, so that was, like, the very, very beginning of me really, really wanting to do it, even though I didn't start doing Minecraft YouTube until, like, just a couple years ago. But when I was a kid, it was absolutely something I wanted to do. I just hadn't had the means to do it. Now, if you liked Stampy, then obviously you had to have liked this guy too. I Ballistic Squid, his like best friend, he was in like every single video too. David Spencer, absolutely great, goaded, OG Minecraft YouTuber, at least for me. And it's so much inspiration comes from him as well. Doing the like, so the reason I like Crazy Craft so much is because when Stampy, Squid, and Ash did the Crazy Craft series, that's why the very, very first uh, series on my channel was actually a Crazy Craft series. Also, I don't know if he was the first person to do it, but he did the Sky Island Challenge. At least he was the first one that I ever saw do it. It's one of the things I still want to do to this day on my channel, do a Sky Island Challenge. But his was one of the most, like, OG Sky... It's at least the first one that I can remember, and I remember how fun of a series that was to watch. And if he was truly the first one to do it, and he created that trend... That's something that's going to live past the channel and everything that he does. And it's absolutely crazy and insane to see someone be able to create that big of a thing for the entire world and the entire Minecraft community to still participate in this day. Now, while that was the UK and that was a separate group, I do got I got with the first American YouTuber, Minecraft YouTuber on this, Jerome ASF, Jerome Robert Assetti. He is someone I still watch to this day, and he still makes entertaining videos. It may not, I may not watch him as much as I did once when I was a kid, but I still watch him like to this day. And, and with Jerome, there's literally so much history that between the team crafted, between the pack, between every single thing he's done, there has been so much like built into his channel, and so much like that you can think of. If you think about the OG days, he's probably a part of it. Especially when you think of stuff like the, the, the Minecraft songs and Hunger Games and everything like that. Those are such OG things and such like they just they meet like in the middle like him and those things are connected so much. Yeah, Jerome still does Minecraft to this day. Like he, he uploads like videos constantly. He uploads different mod packs, different data packs, texture packs, like a bunch of different things that are really cool and custom made like for those videos. He puts in so much effort. And it's something that I eventually want to get to, like a level two. Like, I feel like the uh, he, I feel like Stampy and Squid catered more to the younger, younger audience. Or Jerome still has that appeal because he appeals to the, the audience that's slightly above that, like people in their teens and maybe so, like young, like young adults, teens, and maybe like some people like very like early twenties and stuff. So it, like the amount of effort I see behind the videos is something I want to get to one day. It's something I can't really do at the moment, but it's something I want to do in the future at some point. And I don't know what it is with me and like YouTubers and then like whoever their best friend is, but if you watch Jerome ASF, you, odds are you had to have watched Beijing Canadian. Or if you watched any Minecraft type of music videos back in the day, then chances are you watched his because he has ones that have hundreds of millions of views. So yeah, Bayesian Canadian, Mitchell, Donald, Ralph, Mitch, Hughes, 
Beijing Canadian. Yeah, he had absolute classic of a guy. He doesn't really upload anymore though, which is very, very unfortunate. So yeah, just like Jerome, Mitch was Beijing Canadian was part of Team Crafted and the pack, along with the other members of it. And it was, yeah, it was very, it, he's just such a classic with, with the music videos and everything. Like, I don't know if he was the first one to do it, but he was definitely one of the most memorable to ever do it, which is something just like amazing. Like the, the fact that you were able to get that many views on like some on Minecraft videos. I know like Dream and stuff is able to do that now, but it's just different though. Like Dream uploads like a very intense, like, f like 30, 40, 50 hour long video where he uploaded a three minute music video that's just like a little parody and that gets 100 million views it was just such a different how the minecraft content is was then and how it is now i would say with the with with beijing canadian i would say the thing that was most like what i got from him is wanting to do like online games like on different servers like wanting to do hunger games want to do bed wars build battles stuff like that because like that's something I remember to Hunger Games with them like watching those were so entertaining because just anything could happen because that unknown element of these people that are just all around so that was just such an entertaining thing to see so that's kind of what I've drawn like obviously you guys have seen me do many you see me do murder mystery you see me do Hunger Games you see me do a bunch you see me do not Hunger Games you see me do uh, murder mystery build battles you've seen me do uh, bed wars you see me do stuff like that I haven't done a Hunger Games yet and it's something that I do want to do at some point, obviously. And last but not least, another, it's heading back to the UK and it's still part of the pack though. Still part of like all of that. And it would be Vic Star 123, AKA Vikram Singh Vic Barn. Uh, yeah, he was part of the pack and everything. He was, he was an OG, he was, Oh, he definitely OG Minecraft YouTuber. He doesn't do Minecraft anymore, but he still does a lot of stuff for YouTube, especially being a part of the Sidemen. So I'll say the one thing that was very interesting is like, I definitely watched Vic and watched a lot of his videos because I watched a lot of Drome SF and a lot, of, a lot of Beijing Canadian. I don't think I was ever subscribed to Vic. And I think it wasn't until like, uh, like probably like four, five, maybe six years ago. I was watching uh, I was watching Sidemen because I'm a huge Sidemen fan and they're just super entertaining. And then I was looking at him and I was like, he looks really familiar. And then I realized when they were calling Vic, 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 and I think he said Vic Star One Two Three. I was like, it sounds so familiar. And then I realized that like I had watched him and known of him way before I'd ever saw him on Sidemen, which was like such as like a crazy thing to see. I think the inspiration I get from Vic is less so on the Minecraft side, but it's more so on the just you can do literally anything side type of things like thing like he started with a minecraft youtuber but he's expanded to so much more he's done these sidemen charity matches he's just done sidemen videos like he's done so much other than gaming and like obviously yeah he still does he still does a ton a ton a ton of gaming but it shows that you don't necessarily have to be locked down to a gaming niche like you can still like do other stuff like you can start like a ton of channels like I think he he's shown he's shown me personally that you can have like five six channels and you can be successful on all of them as long as you're willing to put in the work. Yeah, I think he has like something crazy. I think he's like six or seven like gold play buttons because he's hitting like a million subscribers on like six or seven channels. So yeah, that definitely just shows that it, it's absolutely incredible though. Like just what he's been able to do with the scene and he's I think he's the youngest one on the list. Like he's 27. Um, compared to Mitch was 29, Jerome is 29, and then Stampy and Squid are a little bit older at 31 and uh, 32. So yeah, Vicstar is the youngest on the list, and arguably he's done one. Of, he's done some of the most things like in the scene, and it's it's just absolutely crazy to see like, in that amount of time like he was able to do that. And like I'm 20 right now, so if I could even get to like half of what he's done, like that would be like huge, huge success and achievement for me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I, I almost have to feel that every one of these guys that I mentioned that at least one of you guys have seen one of these five, like it, it's kind of, it's, I know it's kind of like clumped clump together, but I couldn't do one of the, I couldn't do anything but these five. Cause like I've, I've gained just so much inspiration from these guys. Like, yeah, I could have done easy ones like Sky Does Minecraft and Dan TDM and popular MMOs. Like, I could have done a lot of guys like that, but I just, it wasn't as personal. Like, I feel like everyone watched those videos, 
Whereas like some like at least whenever I think of Minecraft and think of back in the day, I can only think of, of Stampy. I can only think of Squid. I can only think of Jerome or Bayesian Canadian or Vic. I feel like that's what I wanted to go for with this type of video. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel. And next week, what we are going to be doing, it's going to be the five Minecraft YouTubers that are taking over this new generation and are be literally setting the brand new standard for Minecraft videos. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, check it out next Friday, guys. Peace out.